this bumping because the seats are too far away. Yeah. <laughs> Still gotta have the. the Three, two, one, go! Alright, we got quick damage. Basic doing a nice job getting start, but obviously Sora, as we saw in the last game, can rack up damage with those combos and a nice job just waiting it out and using the hero spin. Ooh, good side B out of Death Spade. And that's something I've noticed Death Spade very good at, is just knowing when to side B to catch characters and when to use it as more of a getaway or recovery option. And ooh, catches the neutral getup with a big F smash. Death Spade getting the first stock here. And here we see these combos starting to come out. Good job from Basic to jump out of it. Oh, and a nice job catching the mash out of the freeze and put the in there. Or oh, goes for another huge <laughs> <punch>. <laughs> Try to catch something big, but instead get caught by the hero spin. I'm gonna take that stock to even at two here, but basic all the way up at 94. I'm gonna need something big here, but obviously knowing those link combos. Up smash! Great move. Oh, the counter. Nice job getting out of it from basic. Might have still had iframes from the uh, angel platform, but ooh, good up be there. And basic not going down without a fight. Says, I'm on my third stock, but you're getting real close to it too. Let's see what I can get here. And a big fair gonna even it up at one stock apiece. 1.2% doesn't mean much. And both of these players having very good gameplay so far. Catches the nice up B. I am not sure. <laughs> I could was it it might have been the edge of the thunder that set it all? I, I honestly have no idea. I didn't think you could trigger links remote bomb the whole Some uh I believe like flame moves and moves that are like fire properties can set it off. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe basic was trying to use it for bomb recovery. I could be totally wrong. It didn't look like he dropped it. But ooh, we are seeing the Bayonetta with the Yidus fan tag. Shout out Yidus, a uh, Bayonetta Kazuya player from St. Louis. Absolutely, and this is a bit of an SDI matchup check for basic. See how good he's able to wiggle in that stick. <laughs> Absolutely, and Death Spade, you know, that last game ended up getting pretty close towards the end, a little scary. So figured he'd try and uh, switch it up, see how much that match is. The late hit from that F smash is going to take it. Kind of surprising there. Getting big combos here. Death Spade only at 26% is already lapped basic in percent. But the last game was looking very similar, and basic was able to bring it back very, very nicely. So we'll see if he's able to carry this momentum here. Already doing a good job of keeping Death Spade out. That Nair gonna hit. Here comes those free floor combos, and a nice job from basic to get out of it. So low behind the stage. Accidentally side B's, I believe he was going for a bomb there. Big damage out of Death Spade. And not killing off the top oh, just yet, but that last one will do it. A great play out of Death Spade. Saying, yep, Bayonetta was probably the right choice with a big three stock there. But still very well played to basic, uh, especially in that first game. Yeah, the double lightning on screen is uh, a testament to just how well he knows the combos. Even if you off screen can't see yourself so much of a delay in your